Hi, it's Andrew Bell, AbleSim here. We're going to have a quick look at Microsoft Project Task Paths. This was a new feature from Project 2013. So I've got a fairly interconnected project uh, on the screen in front of me. Uh, lots of dependencies between the tasks. It's very difficult to see in the Gantt chart view which tasks are dependent on which or which tasks are affected by delays in the other. Now, importantly, I'm not turning on the critical tasks uh, for this part of the demonstration, and I'll explain why. So let's imagine that uh, we've got a potential problem with task C. We want to highlight all the following tasks that might be affected by task C. So we go to the task path command, which is on the format ribbon, and I ask to show the successes. And I will then see highlighted those tasks that are affected by task C, which is the majority of the uh, following tasks. Uh, I can clear that, click on task path, click it again, that removes the highlighting. Another example, uh, task G. I want to see the tasks that lead into task G, the, the predecessors to task G. So I can go task path predecessors, and that's uh, highlighting uh, tasks uh, A, B, and E as predecessors but actually some of those tasks are critical and some are not critical so instead of just asking for the predecessors turn it off i could ask for the driving predecessors and that's showing me that uh, task g is uh, dependent on task a and task e and uh, actually it was task b that's the non-critical task uh, that's got some float so the driving predecessors uh, I can remove all highlighting like this. Now, just let me show you what happens when I actually put the critical tasks on. The critical task overwrites the highlighting um, in task path. So if I now ask for predecessors, um, it's going to show me uh, tasks B and E. It's not showing me task A, which is critical. And in a similar way, if I remove the highlighting and go back to task C and show the successors, uh, it's not showing me these are successor tasks uh, because the critical formatting has overridden that. So that's a quick look at task path. It was new in project 2013. Um, this is a fa fairly simple example. I can see everything on the screen. If you had a complex project with several hundred tasks, a task path is a way of identifying all of the predecessors or successors to a task. Thank you for watching.